Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. I have right behind me a 2022 Toyota Tundra in a TRD off-road package in army green. Beautiful color and a beautiful truck in many ways, but I know that many of you guys are concerned whether or not the manufacturing quality of the Tundra is good or not so good. Lots of questions about the body fit and finish, about its powertrain, about the interior, and many of those will be covered in the next several weeks. But for now and for today, what I want to do is a proper engineer's audit to inspect the exterior panels, to check for body gaps and alignment and tolerances, and also do a full audit on the paint and check the paint thickness. So let me tell you through an automotive engineer's eye whether I think this Tundra is truly well built and whether or not it meets world-class manufacturing standard for exterior quality. So let me walk you through that right now. So first thing we're going to do is to check for body alignment and body gaps to make sure that everything fit well and that the panels are aligned properly. I used to be a body engineer for many years for a number of car companies. So this is what I used to do for a living. Now I don't have all of the right instrument right now, but uh, I do have some of these tools to check for alignment. And so I have been going around checking for the uh, body uh, gaps in terms of the uh, panel fit. And for the most part, it's acceptable. So it's about five and a half millimeter here, uh, maybe about uh, 5.6 millimeter here and a little bit wider near the front, almost six millimeter here. Now this is a truck, so I don't expect these gaps to be as well aligned as something, let's say in the high-end Lexus models, uh, and especially compared to something out of Japan, like um, the RAV4 Prime that we have, the gap is a little bit wider for sure. But the most important question is whether or not the panels are aligned well and does the gap stay consistent from the front to back. And in terms of the body gap alignment, it's actually better than expected. There were some tundras I saw earlier in the inventory that were not too good, but lately all of the tundras I have been expecting were really well made. The gaps are definitely a little bit wider than what I like to see, uh, but if you put your finger here, and sometimes I use a ping pong ball back and forth, then you can actually see in terms of the levelness of the panels are almost perfect. It's a little bit um, misaligned here, just a tiny bit, but definitely within the acceptance level. Uh, now it's always hard to get this part right because the uh, the corners are very difficult to get it right in the production equipment So you can always see that these things never quite line up properly and the curvature here of these corners are always uh, very difficult to get it right But at least in this specific Tundra it definitely meets my expectation and this is within acceptable level Now let's keep on looking here and see if the panels between the front and the back is also acceptable or not So I went through and also used my digital caliper to check for the body alignment and it's also about uh, four and a half millimeters so that's totally fine and that's also within the spec uh, i did notice though that this side is slightly higher than this side just a fraction maybe maybe like a uh, half a millimeter so that is still acceptable but if you're asking me is it a perfect alignment no, not like what you expect in a sort of a Lexus models or even a high-end Toyota model, such as something you might find in the Land Cruiser, which is not sold anymore here. Uh, also panel here, it, the gap is a little bit wider than the front, uh, but the alignment is almost perfect. And uh, you can tell just by looking from this side to that side, it's a perfect alignment. Same thing here, uh, even better here actually on the, the last part of the gap, uh, looks really good and it's very consistent, even if you go right to the top. Uh, and then the most difficult one, and the one that really shows whether or not the car companies know what they're doing is where the fuel cap is. This one is always the most difficult to line up in terms of both the panel itself and also it's very difficult to match the paint. Even though they're often painting this whole thing at the same time, oftentimes somehow the pigmentation and so forth is not quite right on the fuel cap because it's not made from the same material. But here the alignment is quite good but not perfect. Toward the end here on the bottom, you can tell it's quite misaligned. This is quite a bit higher than that one. Now granted, I'm getting picky here and most car company cannot get this right. So certainly this is better than other manufacturers I've seen. Uh, but the paint job, as you can tell, there's a difference here. I'll more on that in a, in a minute. Let me go around here a little bit more in the back. And uh, this alignment here is not a big deal because this is adjustable this way. 
and actually this way a little bit too so this gap is never perfect so uh, i'm not too concerned about that but it looks pretty good right now in terms of alignment and the corners are well made these are again very difficult to get it right and as i continue to look this way the components and the parts also look really well in terms of fit and finish and these parts also seems to fit really well there's no gaps over here the emblems are placed on correctly there's no wrinkles or any kind of a a blemish along here uh, and uh, let's check on this side if the panel fits are good and you can kind of run your finger top and bottom and see if the line is well and the gap as well so i measured the gap is about the same on this side as the other side about 4.5 millimeter which is totally fine and uh, here uh, the gap is a little bit wider which is typically the case between the front door and the rear door and the alignment here is actually better than the other side it's almost perfect uh, one more to check right here same thing good alignment uh, and again somehow it's better on this side than the driver's side which can happen because the left and the right side sometimes is not exactly the same uh, and then here it's very difficult to get this right the curvature here but looks really really good uh, well built the gaps are actually quite acceptable in fact it's four millimeter here so this is what I want to see, kind of four millimeter gap all the way, but that's very difficult to do, especially in a kind of truck manufacturing. It's not quite the same as uh, producing cars. The gap here is very consistent, but you can tell again that this part here doesn't quite line up. It's just uh, very difficult to get that right. But I have been inspecting almost every Tundra that I can see in many of the different dealerships here in Vancouver. Earlier when I was inspecting them, I don't think they were as good as the ones I'm looking at it now. Seems like all the Tundras are arriving now, the panel fit is almost perfect, despite the fact that the width of the gap is a little bit wider than what I like to see. Uh, so that's all acceptable and looks pretty good. Now what about the paint job? Let's do a paint thickness check and also do a gloss check and to make sure that the paint quality is world class. Okay, so let's do a paint check now. And what we do is we use a paint thickness gauge to measure the thickness of the paint, which will give us some indication of the quality of the total paint work. So if it's too thick or too thin, that's not a good thing. You want the paint thickness to be between 100 to 180 micron. If it's less than 100, something is wrong with the manufacturing. If it's more than 180 or let's say more than 200, then something was repainted on top of it because the paint is too thick. So it should be about uh, 120 to 150. So it's 117 here, so that's right on the mark. Now let's check one more place on the hood. 107, so that's still acceptable. By the way, it does say NF or non-ferrous, so this is aluminum panel. What about the side here? 132, so it's a little bit thicker than the hood area. And the door, 111, which is also aluminum. You can tell by looking at the uh, indicator here. 115, so all pretty consistent. Most Toyota cars are usually between 110 and 130. So this is pretty consistent, 119. So it's exactly what I expect. I don't see any unusual paint thickness problem. Uh, on any of the Tundra's panels. I'll just double check on this side to make sure everything looks okay. 110, so that's almost exactly what I expect um, Toyota cars to have, 113. So it's very consistent and some car companies cannot get it consistent. 114, well you cannot get better than this. It's almost exactly between 110 to 120 all the way around. So paint thickness is very consistent applied professionally and properly. Now what about the actual quality of the paint itself? Well, let me walk around and show you uh, in terms of the gloss or the uh, consistency of the paint. I can see by looking at it from different angle that first of all, on this particular Tundra, the paint job is better than 2021's and the earlier Tundras. I think the earlier Tundra suffered from a bit of excessive orange peel and I found the gloss of the paint to be acceptable but not great. But uh, all of the 2022 Tundras I've seen, even the components and parts, uh, um, are excellent. The paint is very, very glossy, very smooth. The surface doesn't have any kind of imperfections. No excessive orange peel. There's a little bit here but not too much. Uh, and the pigmentation looks really good. And so I've noticed that uh, the paint job is definitely a huge improvement over 2021. I mean, this is as good as what you'll find in a more of a high-end uh, 
cars and SUVs like something like a Land Cruiser or even the Lexus LX. Well, perhaps maybe not quite as good as Lexus LX, but it's getting up there. And you can see it's pretty glossy all the way. So paint job is excellent. Uh, there's always a little bit more orange peel over here on top. Um, just because of the way that uh, machine works because it sprays paint from a top and applies this way back and forth using a specialized equipment um, but the smoothness of the paint is excellent the thickness is all good so I think this is perhaps one of the strengths of the Tundra in terms of the quality of the manufacturing the paint job is first class better than many other trucks I've seen the body fit and finish and alignment of the panels are also very good and not as good as, um, you know, sort of a high-end luxury cars, but better than most trucks, better than many of the North American trucks produced by Ford or um, Ram uh, or even General Motors. Although General Motors these days have gotten really good with the body panels and the paint job. So overall, I'm pretty happy and satisfied that the exterior quality of the Tundra meets my expectation and it's uh, one of the best that I've seen so far. Is it a world-class standard? Well, by truck standard, I would say yes, but not by car standards. If you compare it to other high-end SUVs in a similar price range, they would definitely have a better panel fit and maybe even a better paint job. But in the area of the trucks, especially full-size trucks, I'm very satisfied with what I see uh, in terms of exterior. So that's it for now. Now I'm going to do the uh, interior inspection as well in the next video. Uh, but for now, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you very soon.